president of the senior class and on behalf of my fellow classmates, I would like to welcome our honored guests, friends and family to this year's commencement ceremony. Also, many thanks to the teachers and staff of RCHS for your efforts in making our senior year special. In addition, I would like to thank the counselors and Mrs. Epling for so patiently handling everything we often whine about, such as schedules, college transcripts, scholarships, and minor aches and pains. And to Mrs. Board and Mr. Tupper, thank you for being so supportive of everyone. But a special thanks to our parents and families. Without your love and support, we would not be standing here today. Thank you. At this time, would everyone please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening. Tonight we are proud to have among us Chief Justice Larry Starcher. Chief Justice Starcher is born at home in Roan County and a Spencer High School graduate, class of 1960. Mr. Starcher, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> Chief Justice Starcher earned his AB in 1964 and his JD in 1967 from West Virginia University. He served as an assistant to the Vice President for off-campus education at West Virginia University, as director of North Central West Virginia Legal Aid Society, and as a private lawyer. In 1976, he was elected circuit judge of Monongalia County. He served as circuit judge for 20 years, 18 of which he has served as chief judge. In November 1996, he was elected to the Supreme Court of Appeals he first served as Chief Justice in 1999 and promoted action in several areas of judicial administration. Would you please join me and welcome Chief Justice Starcher back home as our honored guest and commencement speaker for the class of 2003. Good evening. Uh, what a beautiful evening it is. Uh, God has blessed us with great weather, and I'm sure we're appreciative for that. Superintendent Gofreda, Principal Tucker, school board members, President Jerry Greathouse, my former neighbor, Richard Boggs, Cynthia Stutler, who I don't believe is here, and Randy Whited. Teachers, honored valedictorians and salutatorian, and guests. What a pleasure it is for me to stand here before you this evening because 43 years ago I would have been sitting out there with you. Now I know the last thing that you want to hear this evening is a long speech from me and you will not. For I will adhere to that modern beatitude, blessed are the brief for they shall be invited back. <laughs> Today we are celebrating and showing our pride and appreciation for each of you who is graduating this evening. We're also celebrating the loving parents and relatives and friends who care so much for you graduates. 
and we are showing our gratitude and pride for all of the teachers, coaches, school personnel, cooks, bus drivers, janitors, school administrators, all who have worked so hard to make this evening possible. And I know that I speak for when these graduates when I say thank you all for making this graduation a reality. Your work is deeply appreciated. And there's another group of people that I think we should acknowledge. The people who could not be here today because they've passed away. Probably for every graduate and every family here, there's one or more persons that you wish could be here and would have been here had they not passed away. I think of my mother who passed away nearly two years ago and how proud she was when I was the absolutely very first person in my family to graduate from high school right here in Spencer, or not right here, downtown in Spencer, in 1960. And I know that, but for her passing, she would have been here tonight, showing her pride for Ashley, my niece, her granddaughter, who sits with you tonight. And I know that my mother and the many others on behalf of many of you are with us tonight in spirit as we celebrate this occasion. I want to tell you a story about a teacher I had when I was a student at Spencer High School. She was one of my English teachers, and she really taught me how to write and how to use proper grammar to compose sentences that were understandable to a reader. She taught me skills that served me well through seven years of university study and have been indispensable in my professional life. But I also want to share something else with you about this teacher. I guess I was 15 or 16 years old, and she was perhaps in her mid-20s. She was a very attractive young woman. In fact, today, more than 40 years later, she's still an attractive and lovely woman. And she had beautiful red hair, and I will confess that I had a big crush on this teacher. I used to talk too much in class, and so she moved my desk up next to her desk, I assumed to have better control over me. And she may have thought that that move was punishment, but for me it was just the opposite. <laughs> and so, while it's true that I was very fond of her when I was a high school student, it is also true that over the years I have been thankful for her. I owe this teacher a great deal for getting me on the right path as a writer. And so I say today, thank you to Betty Boggs for being a great teacher and an inspiration to me. Now I tell you this story because I'm sure that many of you can identify with my experience. And years down the road, you too will have similar feelings about one or more of your teachers here at Rome County High School who will have a great influence on your life. It is in classrooms of schools, just like yours, where outstanding teachers develop the leaders of successive generations. Now, it seems like a high school graduation speaker should try to give some advice and words of encouragement to new graduates, but I really don't know what I could say to you that would really have any sticking power. Each of you got here today by some combination of talent, effort, support, and luck. And hopefully each of you will continue to have your share of talent, effort, support, and luck. Although none of us know what the future will bring for sure. The single most important thing that I can do today is to direct your attention to matters that are too often simply taken for granted. So just for a few moments, turn your head so that you're not looking at me. Instead, I would ask you to look around at your neighbor, your classmates, your school friends, and your families, and your relatives who came here to share this evening with you, and your school teachers and other school employees. These are the faces of your human family. These are the faces of the people who care for you, and I think people you care for. <clears throat> Go ahead, look around again. For some of them, it may be one of the last times that you see them. You know, to some extent, you will be closing a chapter in your life in which these folks have been the major players. But as this chapter comes to an end, you are on the threshold of a new chapter, 
really many new chapters. You will leave some of these friends, perhaps forever, but you will also make new friends in colleges, workplaces, newly developed family units, and new communities. Well, that's interesting. Ha! It was like a deck of cards. I'd shuffled two speeches. I could have talked with you a little bit about what I was going to say to uh, some lawyers Thursday morning. Well, you will, in essence, as you leave this family, be joined in a larger family, the family of the adult world. You know, we humans are an amazing species, God's creation. We know that the planet Earth has been here for billions of years, and we know that the grass and the trees and the rabbits have been here for millions of years. But we humans have only been here for a short time. And we've only had writing and agriculture for several thousands of years. And as we humans have developed, our relatively simple ancient tribal thinking has become complex and terribly hard to manage. Now, instead of clubs and stones, our weapons of choice are nuclear weapons. We are a clever species, but yet we can be very stupid and cruel. And if our human species is to have a future, it will fall upon you graduates to ensure that future. It will fall upon you to use the lessons that you learned in your families, your school, and in your community to make each of your little corners a better place in the world. If we are to stay alive on this planet, we must truly learn tolerance and live in peace or we will destroy one another. I won't talk about how we can best do that, except to say that I'm not a big fan of making America into a warrior nation. I much more favor building friendships among the peoples of our world, and that begins with each of us. The friendship and caring and love that you see in the eyes and faces of your loved ones is the most precious thing in the world. And in this respect, you're really no different than all the other people in the world. Think of all the other people in the world all over the world, from China and Iraq and Cuba and France and Canada and in every other country. They care for their loved ones just as we do. This human caring and concern and pride that all of us feel here today for you at this milestone in your life is the same spirit that can overcome our differences with and our hatreds of other people of the world. And this would be God's will. So my only advice to you is to always try and remember and hold on to this spirit of caring and love that you are experiencing this evening. It is what you will need. It is what all of humanity needs. And it is the spirit that can sustain you as you contribute to the future of our human species. Thank you so much for permitting to be with you this evening. Graduating class of 2003, congratulations. We have accomplished an amazing feat this evening. Four years ago, on August 26, 1999, we walked through the doors of Rome County High School as one class. However, this one class was divided into three distinct groups, Gary, Spencer, and Walton students. From the first day of our freshman year until tonight, we have grown and evolved into this amazing unified class that sits here waiting to receive our diplomas. Tonight is of great significance to all of us. Tonight represents the last page and one of the many chapters in the book of our lives. The beginning of this chapter was filled with lots of fear as we had to face the challenge of change. We had to adjust to a new school after leaving a former one we had become comfortable with behind. Many new faces made their appearances in this chapter. Some of the most memorable. Mr. Burnside. Every freshman girl wanted his class for science. Mr. Williams, such a wonderful math teacher who loved to keep his room at sub-zero temperatures. Coffee drinking Mrs. Westfall and her hyperness. <laughs> Mr. Ellison, with his interesting airplane stories and his unique way of erasing the chalkboard. Miss Betty Boggs and her sweetness. Mr. Putnam, catching his hair on fire. <laughs> Mrs. Kirby, a video camera always in hand. 
Debbie Klein, who always offered so much help, and Mrs. Borden, who was always there for each of us. This chapter is filled with many firsts and lasts, tonight being the most important. The last time we are together is the class of 2003. As we leave tonight, not knowing what is in store, let us each make a personal goal to keep the rest of our book as much of a page turner as the last four years were. Again, congratulations from Kenny High School graduating class of 2003. Thank you.
to the Roan County High School class of 2003. I think I know what, all, what most of you are thinking at this moment. Some of you are already pondering what life without high school will be like. Others are pondering the future, and probably all of you are simply wishing to get off these awful bleachers and get your diploma. And the rest, well, the rest aren't really listening. They're thinking, great, here comes another one of the valedictorian speakers. And it's okay, I don't mind. Our teachers have dealt with that from us for four years. I can handle it for two minutes. Tonight, as I look at my entire graduating class, I know that many of you will soon enter the workforce. Others have several more years of schooling. And for those of you in the medical field, well, you're only halfway there. Looking to the future, each and every one of us has the possibility to turn the world upside down. No, not literally, but just think, if there is ever a president from Roan County, you can count on it amazing not only the people of the United States, but also of the world. However, I wouldn't count on a president from our graduating class. Most of us gave up on any goals of the presidency when we heard the word recount. <laughs> However, I will count on many remarkable things occurring because of the Roan County High School class of 2003. As you look at the people sitting around you, you will see future military personnel, businessmen and women, doctors, teachers, and lawyers. The list could go on and on. Each and every one of us has the potential to become whatever we desire. And yes, we will falter, but we will not fail. My challenge to you is to recognize this is a time for adventure and exploration. Rise to the occasion and grasp all the opportunities to reach your ultimate goal. It is wonderful to see all the different faces collectively assembled here tonight at graduation. And although it may feel as though we have now reached our destination, our stopping point, we must recognize that tonight is rather the launching point for the journey of our lives. Tonight, we will take the, that first step into our futures, and I hope that we will enjoy the ride. However far life takes us, remember one thing, that country roads will always bring us back home to Roan County. Congratulations to my fellow classmates, the 2003 graduating class of Roan County High School. Thank you. This is a very special evening. It marks the end of our childhood and is a symbol of our years of learning and determination to succeed. Tonight is the fruit of our many years of hard work. As Tom Waldman once wrote, miracles sometimes happen, but more often they're made of faith and will and hope and imagination to say nothing of sweat. Tonight, my fellow graduates, is by far no miracle. Our graduation tonight will bring mixed emotions to many. The excitement of what lies ahead and the sadness of friends parting ways. Tonight, we graduate from Roan County High School, but we are not graduating from Roan County. We will always remember our home, the people, the places, and our experiences together. We must go out now into our new worlds and keep on succeeding, taking the memories of everyone here tonight to set examples for generations to come. As Willy Wonka said, we are the music makers, the dreamers of dreams. A large part of education is encouragement. Over the years, we've been encouraged by teachers, friends, and most of all, our families to be the best that we can be. Tonight is not only a celebration for me, but also for my mother, who read to me every night as a child, and my father, who taught me so much about people, and for other families who each played a part in the success tonight of each one of us. It can also be said that tonight should be a personal victory for each one of the teachers we have had over the years who has touched us in some way. As we leave here tonight, each to travel his or her own path, I want to leave you with one final thought, as said by William Butler Yeats. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Our fires have just been lit. Let us each go out now, enjoy our lives ahead, and never let our fires die. Thank you for the memories, and my God bless each and every one of you in your future endeavors.
For the third time in Roan County history, we at Roan County High School are presenting a diploma to a member of a most honored group of graduates, our veterans. Words cannot express our admiration and appreciation to this fine man who was not present at his high school graduation because he was serving our country, serving us, and serving all future generations of graduates. Would James Melvin Walker please step to the stage? The administration and staff of Rowan County High School would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the senior class of 2003 as you complete this stage of your education. As principal of Rowan County High School, I'd like to confirm to Mr. Grafita and the Board of Education that this senior class, each and every member, has met all graduation requirements and therefore will receive their diplomas. It is with great pleasure that I present to you Mr. Stephen Grafita, Assistant, or excuse me, Superintendent of Roan County High School, Roan County Schools, and the Roan County Board of Education, the graduating class of 2003. If you'd please stand, class. Thank you, Mr. Tupper. On behalf of the Roan County Board of Education, it is an honor for me as County Superintendent of Schools to accept the 10th graduating class of Roan County High School. We extend our congratulations to the class of 2003, wishing you a bright future of success and happiness. You may now proudly come forward to accept the diplomas that you worked so hard to earn. Amy Dawn Abbott.
Michael Anderson. Matthew Arnold. Miranda Nicole Ash. Benjamin Scott Ashley. James Edward Atkins. Tara Angela Bartram. Amanda Jo Batten. Amanda Lynn Bischoff. Joshua Bischoff. Scotty Blackwell. Michelle Boggs. <laughs> Charles Carper Boaty. <laughs> Benjamin Luke Bowen. Stuart Bryant. Carl Bunner. Marshall Burdett. Susanna Canterbury. <laughs> Billy Carpenter. <laughs> TJ Casto. Heather Nicole Cavender. <laughs> Harold Chapman, Jr. <laughs> Justin Cook. Charles Howard Cooper. <laughs> Shane Matthew Copen. Joseph Cottrell. <laughs> Kevin, 
Kimberly Ann Cottrell. Michael Cottrell. Sarah May Cox. Brian Kraft. Danielle Marie Deal. Fernanda Jadaveda Lopez. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Dillon. <laughs> James Ellison. Catherine Elizabeth Evans. Aaron Fields. Bruce Fitro. Dwayne Freeland the second. Samuel Edward Godby. Crystal Gomer. Maggie Lynn Greathouse. <laughs> Stacy Leanne Greathouse. <laughs> William Travis Greathouse. Heather Dawn Hall. Amanda Lynn Harper. Ashley Erlene Harper. James Daniel Harper. Jonathan Harris. Winston Charles Harris. Vanessa Gail Helbig. <laughs> Christy Dawn Hickman.
Mark Jerome Higgs. Jeremy Justin Hinkle. Joshua Mark Hively. Carrie Hannah Hodge. Wesley Nathaniel Holliday. Julie Hughes. Mark Ryan Jernigan. Michael Kevin Johns. Aubrey Aaron Johnson. Chastity Dawn Johnston. Doug Jones. Adam Jerkovich. Nathan Justice. Robert Glenn Justice, Jr. <laughs> Heather Kelly. Aaron Kendall. Michael Aaron King. <laughs> Natasha Marie Kinter. <laughs> Marian Michelle Knapp. Tiffany May Knight. <laughs> C. Quan I. Bravo! Lydia Ashley Kyer. Daniel Robert Lane. Christina Lane. Grant Daniel Lemon. Tiffany Amelia Loring.
Jennifer Jeremy Looney. Roger Looney. Joseph Charles Lowe. Congratulations. Kristen Lupardis. Andrea Dawn Martin. Nikki Martin. <laughs> Jessica Dawn Maddox. John McLean. Samantha Jean McCune. Good guy. Hey, John. Darlena Ruth McPherson. Angela Renee Matheny. Rodney Miller. <laughs> Timothy Miller. Hoi Fung Mock. Solomon Andrew Moore. <laughs> Jessica Faye Nazaro. <laughs> Allison Nicole Nichols. Tiffany Dawn Nutter. <laughs> Jennifer Diane or Rose. <laughs> Lucille Priscilla Parsons. Mark Edward Pauley. Nicole Lynn Pena. Benjamin Perkins. Perkins. Vicki Perkins. Matthew Pettit. Patrick Michael Hopp. Yeah. 
Elizabeth Johanna Porter. <laughs> Melissa Dawn Pritt. Randy Edward Randolph. Christopher Reed. Victor Wayne Romanus, Jr. Danielle Lizette Richardson. Gregory Richardson. Craig Sherman Sartor. Benita Jane Schreckengoss. Congratulations. Lori Ann Schulte. Julia Dawn Shanks. Megan Beth Shimp. <laughs> Dwight Melton Sloan. Bradley Dwayne Smith. Brandy Louise Smith. <laughs> Crystal Marie Smith. Jacob Smith. Congratulations, Joseph Smith. Shannon Marie Snyder. Congratulations. Joseph Springston. <laughs> Ella Dawn Starcher. <laughs> Jesse Morgan Starcher, the second. Renee Starcher. <laughs> William Stelmack. <laughs> Kimberly Renee Stone. 
own. Abby Jo Lynn Sutphin. Aaron Jacob Sweeney. Rocky Blaine Swisher. <laughs> Nathan Andrew Taylor. Misty Marie Thomas. Kalina K. Tolly. <laughs> Megan May Tavel. Kelly Alina Tracy. <laughs> Benjamin Kenneth Truman. <laughs> Paul Truman. Trenton Lee Ward. Congratulations, Trent. Craig Anthony Webb. Congratulations. Jeremy Randall Lee Westfall. Amy Elizabeth Williams. Bruce Lomax Williams. Danielle Elizabeth Williams. Williams. Congratulations. Angela Marie Williston. Congratulations. Edward Wilson. Justin Wilson. Congratulations. Matthew Hamilton Woodring. Congratulations. Alita Marie Zelinsky. Congratulations. Stephen Ray Bell. Congratulations. Emily Dawn French. Class of 2003. I am so proud of you. Senioritis was not a common ailment with you, 
And I want you to take with you my best wishes for your future. Board of Education, and by the authority vested in me by the Roan County Board of Education, I now declare you graduates of Roan County High School. Congratulations to the class of 2003. Thank <laughs> you. 